Many people will tell you they dread the thought of even walking into a funeral home. And here at Soxman and Penn Hills, visitors will likely experience something they've never seen before or even expected. A monitor announces Lilo, the bereavement care dog, as a new staff member. Can you give it to Anna? Thank you so much. You give me a high five. That was well done. I have had families that talk to her before they even talk to me. She just has a way of bringing some warmth to a really sad time. As was the case for Ron Rich's family. He suffered a heart attack and died July 21st. He was 76. Agnes Boyd died two days later after a long life. She was 95. We were fortunate to have our mother that long and, and uh, coming to the funeral home and making the arrangements is always difficult. A lot of grief that I've, something I've never felt before. And I just kept thinking this is all just a bad dream. But then those families met Lilo as they planned for funeral services in the midst of their sadness. I feel that she sensed the sadness in the room and I, I just felt her um, comfort and there was just a sense of comfort and tranquility. There were times where she even came up to us and placed her, her chin on our knees. The part that I really noticed was the great grandchildren that they were very nervous this first time they experienced anything like that. And she definitely made a difference, loosening them up, letting them be themselves. Lilo left an impression. Even people who aren't dog lovers can't help but be put at ease with Lilo. Lilo's mission is simple, bring a fresh moment of comfort. Lilo, she just, I mean, she looks up at you with those eyes and um, the family takes that all in and you can just kind of see them take a sigh of relief. In Penn Hills, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.